a good way to get started is to stay with that basic pattern, but instead of playing the pinch rhythm at the back half of the measure, we're going to add this alternating roll. Four, two, five, one. That's a roll pattern you probably already know. So we'll hit the third string, pinch, and then an alternating roll. Another pattern you probably already know. You can use that exact same pattern to play that Wreck of the Old 97. And get something that sounds a lot more like banjo picking. Something else, when we go to the C chord, you might want to play the second string with the index finger and then your pinch instead of just continuing to hit the third string. It's the C note, the note that names the chord. It just makes it a little more clear that you're going to a C chord. Now just using that pattern, let's hear what the Wreck of the Old 97 sounds like. Roll. That might be, in a nutshell, the bluegrass sound for banjo. And it's a big part of what Earl Scruggs developed when he took the two-finger styles that had been popular in his part of North Carolina and developed a three-finger style based on what he had in his mind and what he had heard some other people doing. Using three fingers in a pattern that doesn't repeat from one measure to another.